Should we just get the food and go? Really? Do they have it or not? Didn't you see it? It was in the box. They've always got food with them. We eat to live. These guys live to eat. Let me show you what I'm talking about. The human mouth is called a pie hole. The human being is called a couch potato. That is the device to summon food. That is one of the many voices of food. That is the portal for the passing of the food. That is one of the many food transportation vehicles. Humans bring the food, take the food, ship the food, they drive the food, they wear the food. That gets the food hot. That keeps the food cold. That, I'm not sure what that is. Ah! What do you know? Food! That is the altar where they worship food. That's what they eat when they've eaten too much food. That gets rid of the guilt so they can eat more food. Food, 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 food! So, you think they have enough? Well, they don't. For humans, enough is never enough. <gasps> and what do they do with the stuff they don't eat? They put it in gleaming silver cans just for us. And that's a diaper, and that does come out of a wazoo. So, what do you think? Was I right or was I right? And these things are just the scraps. Where do you see what comes in the boxes and the packages and the cans? I'm telling you, folks, you stick with me, and in one week we will gather enough food to to to, to feed a bear. What? Just a figure of speech.